Hey, it's Navelle J. Lee from BuzzWorthyRadio.net here at Universal City Walk for the fourth annual Days of Our Lives event, A Day of Days. And what better way to celebrate our four-year anniversary than right here? So stay tuned as we get some of your favorite interviews from some of your favorite Days of Our Lives stars. Look there, look how you look. Do you look good? Yeah, good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Mary Beth Evans, Peggy McKay. Uh, yes, hello. Yes, how are you? We're good. Good to good. finally meet both of you. Thank you. For the very first time. Thank you. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I want to ask, because we did touch upon this when you were on the show, the podcast from before, uh, what is going to bring Kayla back to town? Um, I've actually just come back to the pub to help her. For the holidays, yes, for the holidays. I just said that, and um, (laughs) and it's as simple as that, really, to come help the family out. out. Yeah, my daughter. Yeah, Yeah. come make some chowder with her. You know, some Christmas cookies. Famous for my clam chowder. Yeah, she is. I've I've heard about the clam chowder. I've not had any, but (laughs) must drop in. Isn't that that just what the Brady's do? Just help each other out. That's it. That's right. Well, you know, that, that, that pub has been there for a long time. Did you guys put it up in like the 70s or something? Yes. We, by, the pub was given to us by John Black. Oh, who, really? Who uh, I oh, thought so was, was in the 70s. Wait, we have a plot. Who I thought was my son, Roman. Who was Roman? Yeah. Because my son, Roman, was first married to, to Marlena. Right. But he came back looking like Drake Hopeston. <laughs> and I stood between <laughs> Wayne. Wayne the other, the other one, yeah. And, who, and, and, and Drake, who was 12 feet taller, and I'm in the middle of most not to know which was my son Roman. Right, right, right. So I said I, to them, I can't say that line. It's going to get a laugh all over the country. I know. I agree I, with that. I mean, I would, I would, I would, I would certainly know my son's hands. I would know his. I mean, there's so many things you there would was know. Something different about his body yeah. somewhere. But yeah. one was this tall. And right. One was this, right. But I'm in the middle. I'm supposed to go. Which one is like, it? Who is he? Yeah. I just went. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. That so what? Yeah. What year was that that you got the pub? No. I think eighty six. I think eighty six. Something. It yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. I left the show in eighty three and came back like four years later. That, that's when I really but you know, began. When I first went on days, there, there was the Brady Fish Market. That's I right. saw yeah. That. yeah, yeah, and I remember thinking, that's "Wow, right. it looks yeah. way better on TV." That's why I used to always say, "It was like like the dead fish in the net or something, oh, the plastic horrible. fish or whatever." <laughs> I don't know whatever happened plastic to the Brady. Ice and uh, yeah. Plastic lobsters. Yeah. Oh. What happened to the market? The, that do you know? <laughs> but really, the truth is, it was eaten by rats during holidays. Oh, really? You came back really? and it was kind of gone. <laughs> So well, there you have the inside scoop. I have the inside more now, to the come inside. You from like the Midwest or something, right? Where'd I came from, from the East Coast. East Coast, all the way here for this. Thank you for that. Thank oh, of you. Of course, my first time here. Yeah, really. What do you think? Nice day now that it's I warming it. up. It's now warming up, so now I'm like it not complaining about morning. the cold weather that it was earlier. And no. my mother-in-law lives in the East, and she whenever she comes out here, she's freezing. And I tell her, I think I go because you think you come to California, you're going to be warm, so right. you don't dress like you do in you New York. You don't dress like you would back east with like all the long coats right. and the long sleeves and long right. johns. And then I got out here and it was 50 something degrees. I was like, why is it 50? I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, it throws people, I tell you. It's so, so different. I'm yeah. from New York. I was born in New York. I first got here, I, I didn't want to make it. Oh. I used to fly every weekend to San Francisco, so uh-huh. I had a city to city. walk around. Yeah. City. Well, they're trying here. They're trying with downtown LA. There's some areas that are yeah. they're really oh, you know a lot of a lot of loft living and restaurants and things. Right. So they're trying. Change. It'll be it'll be a long time before we'll we're like New York City for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. How was the play? How was the play? So fun. Pe- you know, Peggy came to see my play. Well, I was so was surprised. Really it was she really fun. The name of the play again? Uh, Murder, Murder at the Howard Johnson's. Oh, yeah. It was hysteric. It was so funny. They were all so crazy and zany and funny. Yeah, it's <laughs> a fun. A, it's fun. It was a wonderful evening. Thank had, you. She was great. Well, you know, Peggy's a big theater person too, right? Yes. I mean, you really doing the theater is you. It reminds you why you you wanted to be an actress, don't you think? I mean, I, a daytime and and a lot of television in general is so much just you know memorizing and coming and you try to get together with your partner and and run them but that doesn't even happen half the time because it's all moving so quickly and you're getting your hair and makeup done whatever and you just get out there and hopefully you brought your good instincts to a right. scene you and you do it ready. but um yeah and a, the play gives you an opportunity to really work on something pull it apart 
had this director give you a lot you of had more time to run with your lines yeah I mean it was like six weeks gives you feedback. Yeah. yeah although that's good and bad because if they don't laugh one <laughs> night you think oh god it's uh, not what funny did I do wrong yeah and then sometimes they laugh and you weren't expecting it so you kind of run over the as though but it's it's so much fun. I've had a really really great time. She's we, wonderful. In thank the play. you. We're gonna do it again. Yeah, we're picking no. it back up on um, the Thanksgiving before. It's I mean, really I mean the Friday, the Saturday before Thanksgiving, okay. and then after Thanksgiving, and, and one or two in December. So we're gonna do just some Saturdays. We're like a Radio City musical now. We're gonna take it for the holidays or something. Well, we, we, you know, when you do a play, you rehearse. And we do days of our lives, we come in ready because there's no rehearsal. Right. We, you grab your partner while you're getting your makeup and, you, and then you're on and you do and it. And you're more, you you're more running. Yeah. We do two episodes. Two episodes a day. And it's more. 160 pages yeah. of dialogue. Mm -hmm. You do a nighttime show, you do like seven pages. And you do a movie, you do like two pages a day. I mean, really, it's a big difference. I did an independent film opposite Ed Asner, and, I, and he was working on something, and I was working on day. So we both arranged to come at the same time to start this scene in the indie film. So I get there, and I don't know, 11 o'clock. And all Ed Asner walks down the street, comes to my front door, puts down flowers. I go to the door, open it. We're there from eight in the morning till three in the yeah. afternoon. I go. This is like this is like yeah. being on a horse and getting on a jet. Yeah. Or going the other yeah, way. Yeah. On a jet it's to a it's horse. so different. It's a rush. But There's you can so find the nuances. Time. You know, we I, when in a daytime thing, you, like she said, you run lines, and that is pretty much what you do. You're just running lines more than you are working on performances. So. But you it's have a, the benefit of working though with the same individual. Yeah. And you know the writing, and you know the style, and you know the character. Right. So all those things, you, everybody just brings it forth, and, and it works well. Relationships. Yeah. Of a long time. And a lot of times, it really helps too. But a lot of times, you you lived the story on the show. So if you have to recap it, you know it because you did it. So that's that's helpful. Yeah, that's true. And the bay just started second season. The bay. Yes. You got to come do something on the bay, mother. You do. She does. Yeah. I'm going to talk to them tonight because we are having an We're event having tonight. Event. I'll be there for that. Yeah, that'll be fun. But, um, you know, that is a really fun experience. And I, I was just telling Michael Bruno, who's my manager, who's here today, that, yeah, you know him. But um, that is so much fun. They, I mean, they, for me, they wrote a character that um, is in everybody's business and has a bunch of children. <laughs> everybody doesn't like, you know, all the guys are, she's hurt everybody, children or boyfriends or husbands, whatever. Yeah. And so for me, it's very fun. And it's fun that it's sort of, uh, all of us are, like, it's almost like um, ensemble theater. And yesterday we had um, Paul Satterfield is playing my husband, and uh, Matthew Ashford has got me, like, held captive somewhere for a minute. I don't want to give too much story away. For some, you know, just, like, did something. And it just all the stuff, and everybody's like, oh, get that stuff off the counter. And we all group in there and help out. And, oh, wait, somebody hold this thing over here. <laughs> that, that we all are working together for this sort of same. Um, cause it's just super That's fun wonderful. super fun I didn't know about it. yeah you, you will talk to you I about it. it it's really it, and I think their production qualities in the beginning it's we're, vastly improved we were a little shaky in the beginning I was a little all of us were a little nervous but it's beautiful now it looks like film yeah. it really is That's beautiful great. you should look it up the bay the series I will. Yeah, it's really, yeah. really. Opening great. credits are amazing. I know. I said, "What are we like in Lake Como or something?" You know, it's like beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was. Uh, that was like the, one of the things that I loved about the the Bay this season was the opening credits because I know everybody was like, "The opening credits." They were too long before. Not even that. It was just like nobody wanted to hear another song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought they were just too long. They, they, so if you only have like eight or ten minutes, you don't want so much time on that opening. Right. So, um, but now uh, maybe it was just the episode that aired. I mean, I think the beginning has a little water thing, and then the one that just aired had like it looked like Lake Cuomo. You know what I mean? Like it just was like this mountain on the water with how you know. So I don't know where he gets all his uh, shots, but he's a really talented guy. Yeah, you definitely had to look. That. Gregory Martin. Have you ever met Gregory Martin? No. He's amazing. He he um, wrote it, directs it every episode, produces so where it, they casts shoot, it. Where did they shoot it. We shoot all over the place. We were on Nick Coster's boat. Costner. What is his name? Kevin Costner. No, no, no. The guy that was on Santa Barbara forever? Nick Coster. Thank you. Oh, okay. We were on his boat in the marina yesterday. It was so fun, and it's raining and cool and cloudy and fun. And whoever's got an apartment or a thing or a this or a that, or we had some hospital stuff last season that was like my husband's a, a building he's That's remodeling. Clever. Yeah, so, you know, you make it work. You make it work. That's great.
best of luck to you with everything. Thank you. Like, good to see good you. Good to see you, finally. It's always so fun to do your show. Yes. Pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, <laughs> it's me a doll, you. baby. So 